Okay, um, this is the chicken fear I came up with. Um, so, I should start from the bottom, I think. Down here on the bottom, I would have just put a regular cap, but they didn't have any flat ones, and I needed a flat base to be able to, to put it on top of something to raise the height up, um, because I couldn't find a better way to seal the, this pipe off so that the food doesn't drop too low, because if the chicken feeds from in here, you know, you don't want them to have to stick their heads all the way in. Um, so the, I added a piece of pipe here that I just cut back to be against the edge of the main pipe to just to provide like extra rain protection. And so the chicken sticks its head down in here and out of, out of the spout in the back, you can see there, um, is where the food will drop out so they can stick their heads in there and eat. Um, in between here and the pipe, I have a, a three inch pipe that necks down into a one and a half inch. So the feeder tube in there is one and a half inch and you can see how it, it necks down. And that three inch inside of there happens to fit perfectly. It, it nests perfectly in this four inch um, pipe and the seal between the four inch pipe here and the T and the three inch is almost perfect. Um, I wouldn't say it would be watertight, but it's pretty, pretty good. So at the top, I just have a cap and I hope I can get this off with one hand. Okay. So down in here, oh man, I need a light. Okay, so down at the bottom there, oh, it's hard to see. Okay, down there at the bottom, you can see where it, it necks down a little bit, but it, it's almost a perfect seal. It, it, it's a perfect seal for food purposes, um, for water purposes. I'm not sure if that would hold. But then you just have the cap for the top, and the cap sits on really easy. Um, just don't press it down too hard, otherwise it'll be difficult to get off. But that is the finished chicken feeder. I know, stripes. And um, I'm about to take it outside and give it a test. See how it works.